CrossFit day 11 and 12. Had to do a combo because on CrossFit Fit day 11, um, had some technical difficulties with my phone. But here I'm back. So it's actually CrossFit day 12 and on my way there right now. We'll see what's going on. got done with day 12 CrossFit good session feeling stronger which is awesome I, I'm not strong strong like I hope to get to but I'm definitely feeling stronger than the first week so happy about that <laughs> Just got done with CrossFit day 12 and had uh, something to eat and then now I'm here thinking about doing a little bit of massage. Um, Jesse and I bought this foot massager that actually massages not only your feet but it kind of goes all the way up through your soleus, through your calf muscles and uh, it's just a whole bottom half of your legs and it just does a great job. Um, I haven't used it recently, but I'm going to use it today and show you what it is. And um, I think it's um, it's really important that you massage when you can and, and use the roller, use lacrosse balls, use golf balls, um, bands, whatever it takes to get to those spots to help work out some of your, your tenderness or um, muscle aches and, and all of that. So here it is. So it's this uh, little unit right here, just turns up and it just vibrates and you can just keep your shoes on or you can take them off, whatever you like to do. And it's, it's pretty amazing how it just kind of the massaging or the vibration works right up through the bottom of your feet, up through your legs and really helps improve the blood flow and it's, it's pretty fun to use. If you ever come across one of these, try them out. You might, you might love it. Okay, it's food trivia time. Pick the best food out of these two. And the answer is... So today I also started recording my maxes at CrossFit. And so far I recorded a front squat max of 175, back squat max of 200, and a power snatch of 95. These are good benchmarks to keep track of because um, as you go forward, um, a lot of the workouts um, specify to do your max or a percentage of your max in the workout. So I need to keep track of them because I never remember what they are um, so that I can make sure I'm um, doing the weight required and also I can you know look at 
my increases on my maxes and I want to keep track of that as well. So it's a good suggestion um, for anyone who is doing CrossFit, you know, to start tracking your max efforts and different movements. So that's it for today. I